We're here today to show you how to use RiffSteps online programmer. The first thing to do is to connect your Whammy to RiffStep using a standard MIDI cable. You connect the MIDI out jack on RiffStep to the MIDI jack on the side of the Whammy. To use the online programmer, you need a MIDI device connected to your computer. If you use a USB MIDI device like the one we sell, plug it into the USB port on your computer, and then plug it into the MIDI in jack on RiffStep. Next, open Google Chrome and navigate to stepaudio.net. When you're there, click on Support, and then RiffStep Preset Programmer. The first thing to do is to select your MIDI device. It should already be there in the menu. Then you need to select your Whammy type. Today we're using a Whammy 5, but RiffStep works with all four of the modern Whammies, including the Bass Whammy, the DT, and the Whammy 4. Now that you're set up, it's time to program RiffStep. So the first thing to do is select which preset number you want to overwrite. RiffStep can hold up to 128 presets, but only the first 16 can be called from the pedal itself. To get to the rest, you need a MIDI controller. We're going to start with preset number one. If you want a different preset, you can increase the number by pressing the little arrow key or by typing in a new number. The next thing to do is select the type of sequence you want to program. We're going to show you how to program the different types of sequences in this video. There's six different types of sequences you can program on RiffStep. The first one is two-step. That's where the sequence advances once each time you press the button, and again when you release the button. A one-step is like two-step, but the sequence only advances when you press down on the button, not when you release it. Then there's tap tempo programs. These sequences loop at the speed you choose. And one-shot sequences are just like tap tempo sequences, but instead of looping, they just play through one time. A MIDI clock sequence is like a tap tempo sequence, but instead of using your tap interval, it uses an incoming MIDI clock, and that lets you synchronize to hundreds of other pedals. Finally, you can just make riff step cycle between different whammy settings, so you can select different whammy settings without bending over on stage like a knob goblin. The first type of sequence we're going to program is two step. Next thing to do is choose the number of steps. You can go all the way up to 16. Today I think we'll do an eight step sequence. When you scroll down, you'll see where to choose your interval. On each step, you can choose a pitch or a harmony type interval. Pitch intervals let you hear just the pitch shifted note, and harmony intervals let you hear your original note plus that pitch shifted note. On the first step, we're going to choose a pitch shift interval, and we're going to keep it on unison, which is the note you're actually playing. I found it's a lot easier to keep track of where you are in your sequence if when you land on the first step, you hear what you're actually playing. For the second step, we're also going to choose a pitch interval, but this time we're going to use an octave up. And you'll see each time we edit an interval, up here in the playback sequence section, it tells you what step you're on. For the third interval, we're also going to choose a pitch shift, and let's try a fifth up. For the fourth interval, let's mix it up a little with a harmony interval, and we'll do a fourth up. For the fifth one, let's do a pitch shift. This time, let's go even higher, an octave plus a fourth up. Now, for the sixth step, we'll do a harmony interval with a fifth up. And let's see, for the seventh step, let's try an octave, I don't know, maybe a third up. For the last step, it's usually pretty cool to repeat some of the notes instead of using different notes on every interval, so we'll do a fifth up harmony again. Now we can play back the sequence. We select how fast we want the entire sequence to play back by moving this slider, and let's say we want to play it back over the course of three seconds. You just hit play sequence, and away it goes. Okay, that was a little slow. Let's try it at a little over two seconds. And that sounds pretty cool. So we'll send it over to RiffStep. Hit send program and you'll see a smile of LEDs appear on RiffStep. Now you have the option of saving the file to your computer. If you want to do that, you can type in a new name or just use the one that's automatically generated. Now we can hear how it sounds.
so that sounds pretty cool. But say you decide you'd rather have it as a looping sequence, select Tap Tempo. Now you select the playback speed using the tempo slider. So let's say we want to hear it at 60 beats a minute. Well, that was a little fast, so what we can do is make it two measures long instead of just one measure. That's the length of the entire sequence. So that's pretty good speed for it. Now when we send it over to riff step, it'll just start playing. And again, you can save it to your computer. Maybe we'll call this one, maybe we'll call this one Tap Tempo 1. You can also turn it into a one shot. A one shot plays back a single time each time you press the button. So we send it over to Riff Step. And again, we can rename it if we want to. And now when we press the button, it'll play back one time at that same tempo. With one shots, if you hold the button down, it'll keep playing. Or you can press it a couple times fast to stack them up. Pitch shift sequences aren't the only type of sequences available. You can also have Rift Step select whammy settings in any order you want. So select a whammy settings type sequence, and we're just going to toggle between two different settings. With the whammy settings, you can choose whether you want a pitch or a harmony type whammy setting. The whammy settings are the actual settings on the whammy that you select using the knob. For each of these sequences, you can choose a pitch or a harmony type whammy setting. And from there, you decide whether you want to have the whammy setting on or bypassed when you go to it. Now watch when I select octave down, octave up harmony with it off. You'll see it jump to that setting and turn the whammy off. Now for the second setting, we'll use a pitch shift setting and we'll use a fifth up but have the whammy on. Again, it switched right to it. Now when we send the program over to Rift Step, again, you'll see a smile. And this is a different whammy settings type program. Again, we can make it any name we want and save it to our computer to edit later or to share with friends. Now when we press the button on Rift Step, it toggles between the two whammy settings. And the whammy operates normally. So that's how you program different types of presets using the Rift Step Online Preset Programmer, available at stepaudio.net. If you want to edit one of your presets, click on Choose File, and it should be in your Downloads folder. Choose the preset you want to edit, and hit Open. Again, you can test it, and you can send it over to Rift Step. And that's all there is to it. You can find lots more information, including a complete owner's manual and lots more videos over on stepaudio.net.